Cologne versus Munich. Tomorrow's members of government play to win the favor of the electorate. The eco-policy simulation game is like real life. One wrong decision and the complex system is thrown out of joint. If you wish to avoid a revolt, there's one thing you need first and foremost, and that's networked thinking. In the eco-policy game, the player assumes the role of head of government of the fictional country Cybernetics Land and has to decide in which areas of life investments should be made. As a result, he learns how interrelated factors in these areas produce changes where he never would have expected them. Hans-Werner Hansen created a nationwide contest from the game invented by Frederik Bester, a type of Olympic Games for networked thinking. The Eco-Policy Aid is a contest that takes place in secondary schools and among them. We motivate instructors and students to use networked thinking and then to make a comparison with each other during a contest. This begins with regional as well as provincial decisions and ultimately leads to a federal decision in the German parliament. The really big learning effect comes from the almost immediate realization that relationships exist, that things are interlinked, and that you cannot steer a complex system using simple linear means. They will be the key tools and key ways of thinking. This is the approach to coping with great complexity and to tackling the greatest challenges of our day.